Okay, so now since we got ClearOS um, installed and up and running, we need to uh, configure the server. Um, so by doing that, you uh, first you probably won't be able to get on the internet um, like I am. Um, so first you probably need to go on your computer and you will need to configure your um, your uh, network card for a static IP address. Um, and so I, I, uh, I set up a static IP address for my network card. Um, you can use the same settings if you want. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, uh, basically, the only thing that needs to be the same is the default gateway and the DNS server and the subnet mask. Um, those all need to be the same. And the IP address needs to be 192.168.1 and then whatever number that you want. Um, so uh, just click OK after this and OK and then if you can get on the internet then that's great um, but you still gotta configure it so uh, you need to first um, go to HTTPS uh, colon slash slash 192.168.1 colon 81 and that should bring you to this page or something like this page um, it may be different for uh, Aaron Explorer and uh, Firefox but just click proceed anyways or you know ignore the uh, warning and so this is what it should come up to um, your username will be root and then your password is the password that you set up ClearOS with uh, which I set up mine to be a uh, password And so I'm log in. And um, now it says uh, choose your language. So English, US is fine. And then, uh, and then you got to you got to make sure you know your network settings is correct. So I'm going to click next. And the time zone, um, I'm in central, so change to central and next. And the domain, it doesn't really matter for that. Um, you can keep it, you know, like that or change it, whatever you want to do. So next. And then um, it's going to pop up this. Um, you don't have to fill all this stuff in, and you, it doesn't even have to be the right information. Um, just ma the main thing you have to fill in is the organization, the street, and the city. The are only three things that you need to actually fill in. Uh, the rest of the stuff you don't have to fill in, or you know you can change the internet host name, you can change your country. You can fill all this stuff in if you want to, but um, I just like to fill in the main stuff. And by the way, this is not my street. Although I just use the street as a, like an example. Except I do live in Franklin, so. Um, Alright, so we got that. So next. I'll take a minute here. And then um, I'm going to click on continue configuring your system. And yeah, this is going to pop again, so you just click proceed anyways again. And then you should be logged into uh, ClearOS. Um, you're pretty much done. But the one thing I do recommend is doing um, is register with Clear Center. It's free. Um, and all you got to do is click create an, an account now. Uh, I already have an account, so I'm going to uh, put my account information in and send registration. And actually, I'm reinstalling. Click 
So it's uh, basic free. So it's uh, basically re-registering my system, and it's registered. So, um, so that's uh, the first thing you probably need to do. Uh, the second thing, you, main thing you need to do is go to the DHCP server, and you will need to, um, sorry, you will need to um, start the DHCP server. Now, once you do that, it's still not started. Um, you will have to restart the computer after, after as soon as you, have, uh, I'm sorry, as soon as you uh, enable the the DHCP server, you need to restart the ClearOS server. So to do that. Let's go system, shut down, restart, and then just click, uh, just make sure it restarts in that box, and then update, and then just click continue, and it's going to restart the um, clear OS, and then, so w once it uh, restarts, I'll uh, go and tell y'all what to do next, so uh, be right back. Okay, the clear OS server has just restarted. And uh, so yeah, everything's just started, and now I should be getting a DHCP address. Um, so let me go to DHCP server. Well, it doesn't say I've got one yet because it's still mine's still uh, static, but that's okay. As long as I, if I can get connected to the internet, then that's fine. Um, so after you get that running, um, basically the next thing. Uh, if you don't want to do this, then you don't have to. You don't have to keep watching this video. Um, but the next thing I'm going to turn uh, ClearOS into a web server, also. Um, so it's and it's actually not that hard. Um, so basically, I oh wait, wait. Uh, I almost forgot. Um, sorry about this. Um, I forgot to configure the web proxy because it's not config configured yet. Um, this is the thing that will help uh, cache um, cache the internet and everything. Um, so basically, what you need to do is um, start configuring this and before you start it. Um, so basically, the maximum cache size um, you want to do it before uh, the like one below your how big your hard drive is. So I got a 40 gig hard drive. Um, so uh, the maximum would probably be 30 gigs. So I'm going to use 30 gigs uh, because I got a 40 gig hard drive. Um, the maximum object size, uh, the maximum could be 900 megs, so that's what I'm going to use. And the maximum download file size is unlimited, which is fine. So I'm going to uh, update that. And after I update that, um, to make things a little bit easier, when you turn this pro uh, proxy web proxy on, uh, is to put it in transparency mode. Um, so you don't begin, you know, because if you don't put it in transparent mode, then you may not be able to connect to the internet uh, unless you put that in transparent mode. Um, so I got that in transparent mode, and now I need to start the web proxy. And it'll probably be a good idea to um, change this on boot to auto, so it'll automatically um, boot up with clear OS. So finally, we get that configured, the web proxy configured. Um, now the next thing is to host a uh, website. Um, so you want to put WordPress on here, uh, and you know, you know, host your own website on here. Um, and I'm going to use WordPress ex as a uh, example. Um, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress and everything. Um, so basically, I'm going to end this video right now, and I'm going to make another video uh, for you know to install WordPress on ClearOS. So uh, thanks for watching.